Hi guys, it's James from Devil's Paintbrushing again and welcome to another unboxing. This, as you can see, is the Gathering Storm Talons of the Emperor box set. Um, that I was delivered today, a few days after release unfortunately. Um, but it's a future job I've got um, going on. So without further ado, let's crack this bad boy open and see what's inside. In fact, I can just flip it over and you can see what's inside. So we have a venerable Land Raider, a Null Maiden Rhino, a uh, venerable Contempt of Dreadnought, five Custodian Guard, and five Sisters of Silence. You also get Codex Sisters and Codex Custos. These are for Warhammer 40k, not the 30k. So, uh, yeah. We'll crack this open and we'll see uh, what we get. Um, I have a quick flick through these because um, miniatures I've done in my Prospero unboxing, but we'll have a proper look at the Land Raider. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still suffering from a bit of Nurgle's rot. Yeah, we'll have a proper look at the Land Raider because I haven't done an unboxing of Land Raider on my channel and I've got something special planned for, oh, something special planned for the client, I should say, with that. and wait for it oh, new box smell oh, nothing better than going to workshops new box smell so we have the two codex codexes there and this room wrapped together and we have a nice piece of artwork there scissors on one side Custodes on the other. Really nice. Um, I might get that framed since the client won't want this. So, we've got Land, Land Raider sprues. Land Raider sprues. Ooh. Let's squish it over here. Bases. Sisters of Silence. Have you Have seen those? That is a rhino. guys and welcome back uh, sorry about that there was someone at the door anyway there is the uh, contempt of dreadnought the plastic one that you get in uh, betrayal at Kelf and then we've got all these lovely bits of land raider and you can see focus you see the details there you've got the mechanicum skull and cog there some of the interior details I didn't actually forget how big the land raider kit is there's the engine section again with the mechanical cog and purity seals just there. Hull and trap of the Land Raider. Rhino is seen. Custodes. Again, I've done a more in depth look at these in the Burning a Prospero unboxing. We've got other bits and bobs. We've got the bits of Rhino and other base in there. So that's the contents of the box. Let's put everything back, and we'll crack open the uh, yeah. Bear with me. And this so well. Wrapped. Surprisingly tough. So we have the custodes, the sisters, and your instructions. Now this is just a combination of everything you would find in Quadrilateral Calf. Burning at Prospero, putting everything together. There's your sisters in the three different configurations Bolter, Sword, and Flamer. There's your Contemptor, and there's 
your hand writer. We've got some lovely gun edge going on there. And last but not least, the Rhino. Handy to have it all in one go. Not a problem with that. Now, sisters. Now, nice bit of oh, nice bit of artwork there. You're gonna have some blurb about the sisters. More blurb, more blurb. And there we go, some nice miniature shots. shots there. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. And now we're on to the uh, army list itself. It looks like everything's elite. So you've got your purchase user squad, which is one with bolters. You've got your vigilator squad, which is one with swords. You've got your witch seeker squad, which is the one with flamers. And you're not made of Rhino, which is fast attack. This is an incredibly elite army. And then here's your non maiden task force, which is uh, sorry, the Curian. And you have three elite slot, which is all you have. All the special rules, all your weapons, and your profiles. I don't think there's a lot of scope in that for a 40k player. Um, you can't even use them as allies because they're not a CAD. Unless, of course, 8th edition changes all that. Uh, so they'll have to be your sole army with um, someone else. Mind you, I'll read that, and it may, it may be different. And now we're onto the uh, Custodes. More lovely pictures. Look at that, that's a really nice picture. There's that one, which is uh, the cover of one of the Horace Heresy novels. Can't remember which one. Look at that Contemptor. That looks really cool. And the same sort of thing. More pictures of the Custodes in all their glory. <coughs> Again, excuse me. And then we've got the army list. And again, there is no HQ in this. So we've got the custodian guards, which are troops choices. And I think you can upgrade them with um, sentinel blades and storm shields. And then there's your venerable dreadnought. Tempter, I don't know what I mean, and right, what I'm talking about. Again, a formation, which is one troops, option with two troops, and one elite. And then all the rules of war gear, and profiles. So there you go, guys, that's what you get. And what I'm planning on doing, well, what I've been asked to do, is the Rhino and Land Raider are going to be for a separate project that's going to come later on. And the custodes, because we already have some custodes, are going to be added, and another dreadnought is going to be added to quite a well, hopefully quite a large custodes force for the, for the person I'm doing it for. And hopefully, um, with a bit of luck, I'll be getting these built this week and then painted later on because I've got I'm waiting for commissions to come in. So this is the builder, and then everything else is going to get painted much later on anyway guys um i hope uh, you haven't been bored and been droning on so long as usual, you guys like subscribe all that jazz um and